Uh, the foundation of our company uh, happened in 1999. I used to own a small appliance repair business in Ann Arbor, Michigan, and then um, one of my customers was Larry Beach. He was the founder of Creative Solutions, the accounting software company. And um, I was working at his house one time and uh, began talking to him about this idea of selling appliance parts over the internet and giving away free repair help. And he thought it made sense to start that business and so the two of us got together and uh, soon hired some other folks and we got started in late 1999 and um, became profitable in 2002 and have been very successful with this. Well the reform bills that have been floating around Congress and the White House for the past I would say year and a half or so have been mostly confusing. Um, I think everybody in the country including me believes that our health care system isn't serving the whole population and it's not serving it very well. So most of us I believe are uh, inclined to, uh, to want some kind of change that's going to uh, help get more people covered. I, I went for our first two children, I have five children. For the first, first two children we used Medicaid because we didn't have any coverage at that time. So. I have a personal experience with not having the kind of health coverage what we would have hoped to have. And I know there are a lot of people who have no coverage at all or rely completely on emergency room care or other types of care. So we all believe, you know, in our company, it's a very common thread that something's not right and things need to improve. What is going through the Congress right now and what the, you know, the current bill that's uh, being you know, proposed we just don't know if that's going to help or hurt. It's not clear to us. Um, but I think we know something needs to happen and I, I guess this is something. I, you know, when we started this company, we only had six employees and then it grew from there and we had medical coverage right from the very beginning. So it's really part of our culture to cover employees really at any number. So 50, 75, 100, um, it, it didn't matter to us. We think it's essential part of uh, human life. So um, I don't know what I think personally about that being mandated. Um, I think it could be for a very small company, it could be very um, cost, it could, it could cost so much as to be a big burden for a, a smaller company. Um, but if the costs can be contained and somehow those costs could be spread out in a in a you know, more equitable way, I think uh, most small companies would prefer to offer coverage. So the new mandate that will require employers to cover their employees or pay a penalty of say two or three thousand dollars depending on the situation could be a disincentive to some companies to offer coverage at all. Uh, it could drive some companies to uh, push their employees out into the broader exchange and get coverage in a different way. I think that that's going to come down to the culture of the company though. Repair Clinic would never do that because we don't think that would be the best way to treat our employees. I don't think it's really possible to, to get good medical coverage for $2,000 a year, uh, particularly not for a family. So um, I think that what's going to end up happening for employees that are pushed out into the exchange is their, their overall care is going to be reduced significantly. And that won't be a good thing and it won't necessarily meet the objectives of what I think Congress is trying to accomplish.